going on? Welcome back to another episode of React and Chill with Chubby Dudley, and it's been a long, a long, I'm going to say it, long fucking time. It has. I'm sorry, everybody. What's going on? I've missed you guys. Hopefully you miss me too. Life has just been crazy. You know, I hate that real life has to get in the way of the fun of this channel and other things that I'm involved in because I really enjoy doing this. I, I enjoy uh, first watching the old uh, ECW stuff. I enjoy the interaction with everybody and just having fun doing this and, and creating this channel. So thanks to everybody who's come along for the ride. Uh, we're one year old. Venturing into our uh, our, our the, the new uh, year of uh, of the channel and uh, hopefully on to bigger and better things. As I keep saying, I got things planned, but I need more subscribers. So make sure, if you haven't already, please go down below, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, get all the notifications. I'm trying to do every two, three days, but obviously it's not happening. But I'm recording a new batch right now. That'll be good for four or five episode so that'll get me through like the next week and a half to two weeks so here we go all right i'm gonna hit play this is episode 15 in ecw television history let me throw myself down here in the corner let me make the screen real big i'm gonna try something different too going forward i'm going to maybe like stop things as they happen and i don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes but Let's hit play. Let's kick off this episode. Or maybe not. Are we going to kick it off? What's going on here? Why is it not working? Let me refresh the screen. Let me hit play. Nothing. This is a look back to the last episode, the ending of the last episode. Stevie Wonderful going down. Poor Stevie. Poor Stevie. And they're just breaking the arm of Christopher Candino. Sal's still commenting on us just in case. You know, they could, you know, before this thing airs, look at this. That, that arm's broken, man. Look at that. So Christopher Cantino outside the ring in a lot of pain, Paulie. They're holding that left arm. That could be broken, Paulie. Oh, man, it is. Look at the way that arm is bent. You know, an arm's not supposed to bend that way. What effect do you think that broken arm's going to have on the big tag team title match next week? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we got to get out of here, Fenton. Paulie actually sounded. Let me skip this intro. Welcome, wrestling fans, to another exciting edition of Eastern Championship Wrestling. My name's Jay Sully. I'm here with the CEO of the Dangerous Alliance, Paulie Dangerously, and the president of the ECW, Mr. Todd Gordon. Todd, you seem a bit upset. What's, what's the problem this week? I'm more than a bit upset, Jay Sully. I promised last week there was going to be suspensions and fines if people were, didn't knock it off. This involves you and all everybody else in that People locker. didn't knock it Everybody off. Everybody comes out of that locker room who doesn't belong out here tonight. There's going to be a suspension, and it's going to happen tonight. You heard it straight from the president, folks. <laughs> We've got a great card ahead of us tonight, Paulie. We've got uh, the new tag team champions, the Super Destroyer, putting their belts on the line with some very special stipulations. <laughs> Oh! TV title match uh, with Superfly. Out of nowhere. On the line against this man, the living legend, Terry Funk. Now that's a real fool. That's part of the dangerous alliance right there. That's 
whatever part a third. I know he's not a full one part because he's only half a man. I would like to say, you people at home, call up your neighbors right now and tell them they're in for a treat tonight because we've got a main event here in ECW that I'm looking forward to because I'm going to get a chance at a part of the dangerous so-called alliance. I'm going to have Jimmy Snooker in here before the night's over, and I'm going to do my best to beat the hell out of him. The living legend, Terry Funk, it's facing off against Jimmy Snooker for the TV title tonight. Now let's hear from Sal Palomo and the Hard to believe about their Terry's no longer with us. tag title match. Stevie Wonderful back here with ECW President Todd Gordon. And Todd, I understand you have an announcement for us. Stevie Wonderful, the match has been signed for next week. The tag team titles are on the line. The Super Destroyers against the Suicide Blondes. Special stipulations. If the Blondes lose, they're out of the ECW forever. Sal Palomo handcuffed at ringside to Hunter Q. Robbins III. Who knows what's <laughs> going to happen, but the tag team titles are on the line next week. Wow, unbelievable. We told you all what was going to happen. Everybody knows. Hunter Q. Robbins, guess what, baby? We're going to hit you, and we're going to hit you big, right where it hurts, in your pocketbook. What do you think, too? That's right. The midgets are going down. We're keeping these belts, and nobody's going to take them from us. Nobody's going to take them out from us because I'm going to be handcuffed to the manager. You know what? One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to eat lots of garlic that day. You know what? I'm going to be it right in your face. And what I'm going to bring in your face, you're going to say, please stop them. And I'm going to be handcuffed on you. And you're going to go, no. <laughs> All right. I just got to say, like, Super Destroyers, they should not be speaking. They needed that manager. That's why Hunter Q was good with them. Even like I would rather have Sal as a manager of the Super Destroyers. Sal would be entertaining as all hell as a manager. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see. I I, I kind of like in my head. I'm like guessing where they're going with that because I mean I'll say it now, um, and this way we can compare notes when we watch it in weeks to come. Sorry, I got yours. So working my freaking ass off. But anyway, I think that's when Candido does leave to go to Smoky Mountain, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. All right, let's push play and see what the match is. Well, it's all on the line this hour, gentlemen. Sir Christopher Candido with the broken arm and Hunter Q. Robbins, you will be handcuffed to wild man Sal Balomo and the Suicide Blondes do not win back their titles right here, right now. They have to leave the ECW. It's all stacked against you. Well, Paulie, it may be stacked against us, but we've been down before. Yeah, they tried to hurt Chris. Yeah, they tried to hurt Jonathan. They tried to get us down, but... Uh, let me tell you something. We've been down before, and no matter what they've got against us, I've still got faith in my guys. You tell them, Chris. Christopher. You in my career. And now you're Ruin really the gimmick. And that you're trying to kick the suicide blondes out of the ECW. Well, free musketeers, I'm telling you guys, no matter what you do to me or hot body or Sir Richard, you cannot back the suicide blondes into a corner and expect us to not come out fighting. The Suicide Blondes laid all on the line. They want the ECW title. They almost come off like a baby face there. Ladies and gentlemen, the match. One fall, 40 minute time limit. It is for the ECW Tag Team Championship. We have one special stipulation. Oh, the match is now. I thought it was next week, they said. This is going to be fun. From anywhere but Philadelphia, your weight, combined weight, 600 pounds, counting your ego, Sir Richard Michael, Sir Jonathan Hotbody, the Suicide Blonde, and Parts Unknown, over 600 pounds, combined weight. The current ECW Tag Team Champion, the Super Destroyer! Super, Super D's are over. You know, I, I personally am very disgusted 
that you would treat Hunter Q. Robbins III like a common criminal and have him handcuff the Bacigalup over here. Hey, uh, what's got Every time he says Bacigalup, I, I, I flash back to my childhood. Those in charge here at the ECW felt the only way these super destroyers were going to get a fair shake is if uh, Wild Man Sal was handcuffed to Hunter Q. Well, I tell you what, I still find it utterly to look at Bacigalup, the bully that he happens to be. And tough ringside to Hunter Q. Robinson. You know, that Sicilian brother <laughs> was a little too thick for my taste. Hey, Paulie, let's not be getting on Sicilian. Don't forget my last name. I'm Sicilian. Don't forget that. Well, I tell you what, guys, brother, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse, okay? <laughs> this, 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 what a way to get this hey, the fans on here tonight anyway. The fans yeah, are they I'm on? catching malaria. It's 120 degrees. Oh, let, let me guess. Let me guess. That's how hot the action is in the ECW, right? You got that right, Paulie Dangerously. Every week the action's hot here in the ECW. Well, it's going to be hotter this week than ever because it's all on the line here. This is it. This is like a final showdown between these two teams. After what happened last week, the broken arm of Sir Christopher Candido. And now, now, where is Candido? Why is he not at ringside? Will he get involved in the match? What's going to happen? I'm a little... Superfly Jimmy Snuka, the best wrestler on ECW television today, the ECW TV champion, will defend his belt in this very program against Amarillo, Texas's miserable, stinking lion, Terry Funk. The living legend, Terry Funk. That's right, Paulie Dangerously. Jimmy Snuka puts the TV title Now on he's just the Terry legend, Funk here today. Terry Funk. But first, as you said, we've got an important tag team title match here. We've got the careers, the little careers of the Suicide Blondes on the line here. If they don't win the titles for the Super D's here, they're out of the ECW. See, I've never agreed with any wrestler doing this. I don't understand why a wrestler would be a cheerleader why ask for the fan support when you haven't done anything yet and here the super destroyer number one reaching out for the support of the fans when he hasn't done anything yet now now he's done something he's back to richard michaels into the corner but he did nothing when he asked for their support and a nice clean break in a match that has everything at stake I think the Super D's are playing to the crowd there. I think they're drawing energy from the crowd, Paulie. It's, uh, there is so much at stake here. here. I think they're enjoying, uh, you know, getting the applause and the cheers from the fans. I think it only helps them. Well, right now we have a very confusing situation going on here because Bacheco Loop is dragging Sir Hunter Q. Robbins around the ring. Uh, I, I, I just can't agree with that kind of practice. <laughs> I can. It's about time somebody kept an eye on that, uh, Hunter Q. Robbins III. All he's done is wreck. Yeah, but he's not just keeping an eye on him. He's keeping a pair of handcuffs on him, too. Hey, whatever it takes, Paulie Dangerously. Evidently, those in charge here in the ECW uh, deem it necessary to uh, have Sal Malamo be the policeman of this match here. And you mean Bacha Galoop, don't you? I mean the wild man, Sal Malamo. Oh, a double reversal of an Irish Whoa. for Richard Michaels. A nice move on the Super Destroyer. And look one. how quick Michaels gets to the top rope. If he hits this, it could be over early. Up to the top rope. Sir Richard Michaels about to fly. Oh! Wow, I'm surprised he hit that. It, it took so long. Super, no, Super Destroyer number one able to kick out. Incredible after that high-flying maneuver, Paulie. Well, obviously he went for that maneuver just a little bit too early, and that impresses me that the Super Destroyer would kick out. Oh, from, oh, well, now look at this move by the super destroyer number two which allows a double team by the suicide bomb double team and i don't think we had a hey, what are they there, doing Paulie. i know sir richard is the uh legal man in the ring but i think johnny hopbody might be saying yes i'm right i didn't see a tag there paulie you know let me tell you something hang on paulie what well, we've got to get out of here we've, no, got, I want to tell you no, something. we've got to get to a commercial break you see, commercial we'll commercial right back, man. stay tuned and we'll bring in the rest of this Can match. I go on? No, Paulie, we're out <laughs> here. All right. Sir Richard Michaels back here in the ring with uh, Super Destroyer number one. Building up nice for a oh, nice hot on. tag. I'm waiting to see how oh, good it comes off. I always enjoy a good hot tag, don't you? Yeah, one, two, three. Are we back on? Paulie, yes, we're back on. Would you pay attention, please? For that hair. Stop paying attention. Everything on the line here. And again... Look at the classic double-teaming tactics. 
of the former and future ECW Tag Team Champions, the Suicide Blondes and Rook. How I'm, I'm, I gotta pause it. How, how amazing is that? I mean, it's literally just um, a front face lock on the mat, and they're working this for like three minutes long, and the crowd's into it. How about that? We've talked about this one in weeks past. I, I'm tired of talking about it. The blonde hair of Sir Jonathan Hotbody. <laughs> Top tag, there you go. Nice clean tag. For the third time, uh, nice clean tag. I, again, saw no tag call Lee Dangerously. Sir Richard Michaels. Vertical suplex on the big super destroyer. The suple. Follows it up with a nice elbow drop. Wow, he really brings down a lot of momentum on that elbow drop, but he missed with the knee, but he's close to his own corner. Sal looks like he's getting mistake. sick over there. He's going back after the Super D, but obviously he won't he don't look long. good. He goes right back to work on the Super Destroyer. Working on that left arm of the big Super D. Working on that shoulder now. Driving the knee into that shoulder. Trying to totally incapacitate the Super D's left arm here. Well, the Super Destroyers are a very powerful tag team, and obviously one thing you want to take away from them is their power. If you take away some of it, now look at this. Once again, the double-teaming tactics of the Suicide Blondes and the beautiful Blondes are Jonathan Hotbody on the top row. A legitimate tag there, fans. Jonathan Hotbody, oh, the double axe handle down on the left forearm. Forearm, excuse me, on the left shoulder of the Super Destroyer. <laughs> The other Super Destroyer, Super Destroyer number two. How's this all going to turn out? What's going to happen? Richard Michaels, one of the finest, finest competitors. To, uh, another legal tag, by the way. Holy <laughs> dangerously, what am I going to do with you? I, you're you're not going to do I, anything with me. You're going to sit here and you're going to commentate with me. No, and and maybe, not. just maybe you'll learn something. Wham, right down on the arm. Continuing to work over the left arm of Super Destroyer number one. Quick tags, tag in and out. Body. Johnny up again on that top rope. Another double axe handle. They're continuing to pummel that left arm. What's the difference between a nice tag Keeping that and a guy up, 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 up. Oh, oh. I should say, well, they haven't been tagged all night long. Very nice. That's the nice. problem. Yeah, but the match is going in their favor right now. And, you know, wrestling is all about momentum. Kind of kind of and a clean wrestling match. Suicide bonds, as long you as know. they dictate the pace of this match and they control it, they will become, once again, the Eastern Championship Wrestling Tag Team Champion. And if they don't, Paul Lee, if they somehow don't manage to win the title, then they game, are men of their word. They will leave the ECW forever. If they're men you of their word. Man, this is the careers of the Suicide Blondes on the line here. They've got to win the tag team belt, so they're out of here. And I know a lot of people will be happy to see that. And I suppose you'll be one of them. Uh, I'd have to say, yes, I would, Paulie Dangerously. Yes, I would, Paulie Dangerously. Yes, I would. But right now, it doesn't look like you're going to get your wish, does it, Jay Sully? As Sir Richard Michaels completely dominates the pace of this match and even takes it up two tempos as he works the Super Destroyer back towards his own corner, away from his tag, away from his partner, so that he cannot make... Wow! Right in the gut! Super D number one fighting back with a big right hand in the midsection. There's the tag we've that, for. Super D number two, the big man. That was the big hot tag. A right hand, a second right hand. Here comes Sir Jonathan Hopper. Oh. And he gets a no. two big right hands. And a third. A double knock uh, on the suicide blonde. Sir Richard over the top rope. Sir Jonathan outside the ring as well. Super D number two, some kind of high. Sorry, I'm disappointed in that hot tag. Right now, what the Super Ds are doing is that they're not controlling the pace. They have to control. Whoa! Right in the throat! Right in the throat, and Hot Body's in big trouble here! Another Hot Body's in big trouble! Super D number two, got Jonathan Hot Body up for that big. Looks like a power slam. Oh, driving Jonathan Hot Body right through the mat. Where's the referee, Paulie? We've got a cover here. The referee What's going to happen? What's going to happen? He see the cover. He cannot see the cover. Where is the referee? Oh. I see Candido's <laughs> coming out. Christopher Candido, Paulie. What's he doing out here? He has a cast on his arm. Oh, he hits this Super Destroyer number two with that cast. Oh, not once, but twice over the head with that cast on his arm. Incredible. Here comes the referee. Oh, no, what a miscarriage of justice this would be. 
third down that I'm not even covering. There's one, there's two, there's three. They got him. They got him. Interesting. We got new champion. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Don't you ever doubt me again. The Suicide Blondes, new tag team champions here in the WWE. Stay tuned, fans, because we'll be right back. The Suicide the Smurfs. That's hysterical. Oh. oh, boy. That was fun. That was fun. I was not expecting that. I, I honestly, like I said before, first off, I didn't even think we were going to see that match until weeks later. Um, but uh, there it was, and there it goes, and the Suicide Blondes are the new ECW Tag Team Champions. On that note, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, come back. Go down below. Come on, please. Ring the bell. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, get all the notifications. This way you know when I'm back with a new episode. Uh, hopefully in two to three days. Uh, hopefully, definitely before Christmas. If not, Merry Christmas. But now, it will be before Christmas. I, I promise before Christmas. Maybe even an episode on Christmas. Who knows? We'll see. But until next time, we're on that road to the extreme.